Scorpio and Scorpio rising, February 2023, you start the month off with a lot of Capricorn and Aquarius energy. Capricorn is solid, stable, reliable, and Aquarius strives to connect you with energies of freedom and of innovation, to look to the future and create a stable environment. What you need to know for your February horoscope. Hi, I'm Patricia Tate with WillowGraceMystic.com, and this is your astrology forecast for February 2023. On February 5th, we have this fiery and passionate Leo full moon. Leo is the fifth sign of the zodiac. It's creative, dramatic, self-confident. In full moons, they illuminate what was hidden. They are culminations, they're endings. So take a moment and focus on what have you started six months ago? What are the seeds that you planted? This Leo full moon can inspire you to focus on these creative projects and adventures, to share the love that you feel more openly and become more invested in harmonious relationships. You can grow close with those that you have a spiritual connection with and you may want to crave more romance at this time. Use this lunation to find a way to connect with your higher self. This is in your 10th house. The 10th house is your work, your career, your public life, your recognition, and it's you being seen. Then on February 11th, Mercury is going to move into the very innovative sign of Aquarius. You're going to have this ability to think outside the box, to be creative, to embrace these unconventional ideas and plans, and then you're going to want to bounce these ideas off of your friends and your social circles and your groups. So your mind is going to be filled with these thoughts, feelings, and emotions, and you're going to be eager to share them. So focus on the future and let yourself dream. This is about your house of home, your family, your roots, your foundation, and anybody that lives in your home. Then on February 18th, the sun is going to enter the watery sign of Pisces. I love this. Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. It is known for imagination, compassion, intuition. So expect these areas of your life to be strong over the next coming weeks during this magical season. This is also going to be a perfect time to connect to your subconscious and to strengthen your intuition. Release anything that's been holding you back. And then on February 20th, we're going to have a beautiful new moon in, the, in this watery sign of Pisces. Remember that Pi Pisces is psychic, intuitive. This, is, this will be a time of you feeling other people's energy. New moons, they're an opportunity for you to have this fresh start, this clean slate in this area of your chart. This Pisces new moon is going to be a great time for you to initiate new creative or spiritual projects to strengthen your connection with your intuition and to use your imagination. Your compassion for others is going to be high and you're going to be of great help to others. This is in your fifth house. I love the fifth house of fun. The fifth house wants you to play, to find romance. It's creative. It governs relaxation, entertainment, and even gambling. So this, this self expression expression house is you letting your inner child out. Be sure to plan lots of fun for yourself at this time. This could be amusement park, sip and paint, um, uh, anything that gets you out there enjoying the company of others. We also have the central sign of Venus entering the driven sign of Aries. So you're going to want to take charge of all things that are related to love over the next coming weeks. You're going to want to take the initiative with those people that you're interested in and that you care about or projects or activities that you've started. You're going to be more willing to do so and you're going to be more enthusiastic and excited about love. I would love to hear about how this resonates with you in the comments below. To hear updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe.